Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. I know quite a lot of you do keep asking in the other videos, Rob, what is going on with that E-Class Merc? And guys, I think we said it when we first started it, it was going to be a little bit testing to get the parts for it. There wasn't many available. We like to buy from reputable people, set like shop, uh, eBay sellers and things like that that are registered companies. It's always nice to get them from them. So we've been shopping around and finding the bits for it has been so difficult. But in the background, there is has been little tiny bits going on. For instance, excuse the noise, we actually said that we needed a new bonnet for it because it had damage there. It was damaged in the middle there and it also was damaged a little bit there. This was quite a while ago, Chris, wasn't it? A couple of weeks ago, you was doing something with the panel hammers yeah. and you just started having a go at it. Well, I've filmed it, I think. Oh, you have? I think so, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, yeah. Chris has filmed it, so we'll include that now. He has repaired that bonnet and managed to save it, as you can see, which is really, really nice because it is very, very expensive. There was hardly any chassis damage on it. Well, there wasn't any. It was just this cap. So in the background... We have been collecting bits. You know, we've mentioned it before. Eddie does hook us up quite often. He managed to source us a bumper. So we got a nice bumper for it. Oh, we also got the wing off of Eddie, didn't we? Yes. And that's here as well, but it's slightly damaged. Yeah. Is that right around, Chris? It's the back of the, um... So we've got a wing under here. Let Eddie sort it out for us. And as you can see, it's just got a little bit of damage on there. Nothing that Chris can't sort out. he get that sorted out. The front panel we got from Silver Lake. And we was waiting until we went up there to pick it up. And you would have seen that video where we went up there to collect it. Unfortunately, they only had like some bits of it. So the top part, bottom part here, the crash bar. This part here, they didn't have... But we ended up ordering that come as one unit from the dealer and it was surprisingly cheap for what it is. Also, the most important bit that we need, enable to move this car around. So both these coolers are leaking. We've tried bodging them up the best we can just to move the car around. We've now got a rad pack for it. So we're going to get straight on with this car and start getting a bit more done to it. I can see Chris has got a little bit of dressing up here to do to get it flat the same as the other side and... Just crack on. What's the plan, mate? We're going to build this up. Yeah, just get that put together and take them coolers off out of the way. There's a bit on that chassis leg, top of the chassis leg. Oh, on this one as well? No, the other side, yeah. Bulgy, like, right. Out. Okay. Just bits and bobs. Really. Little bits and pieces. So you can see there's like a bit of a box section there, guys, on that chassis leg. And on that one there, you can see it's slightly that way and it's pushed down and it's got a bolt sheared off in there. So all this is going to want straightening up and sorting out. So loads and loads of little bits to get on with, but we are going to crack on with this one and get as much done as we can. So like any bit of salvage, always, guys, you've got to expect the unexpected and you will always find extra little bits that were broken that you didn't know about. So everything we said that we was going to do when we started this video this morning it's gone out the window. It's gone out the window. We haven't done any of it. Chris went straight to the front of the engineer. He said, that's broke, that's broke, that's broke. And until you got quite a lot of stuff out of the way, you genuinely couldn't see it. Now, this car run all right, didn't it? Yeah, considering yeah, yeah. really because that's your, a bit of your inlet there snapped yeah. off and also this one's broke as well you yeah, said yeah it's got a crack in it is it or is yeah. it actually snapped it's cracked through there i don't know if you can yeah i'll see it yeah see where chris is pulling that apart and there's a crack there. through there and we've got yeah. a crack through there as well yeah. another hole in it there yeah. that was surprising really that it oh, run yeah. as well as it did so like Chris just said, all this wants to come off before the rad pack goes in. We've got the rad pack over there. But, you, again, we don't want to build this up until we've got that, do we? Back to plan A. You're going to straighten that yeah, up. get that done. Get that painted. 
and and in in that time hopefully you can find one of them. Yeah. So once that's painted and dried, you can bolt that back on, wrap pack in, front panel on. And have it on the button running and driving. Yeah. I know we need to get we need to get a tire for it, because that how many times yes. we've pumped that up, I've lost count. But yeah, you're always gonna find you you, you gotta allow for it. You are always gonna find broken extra bits especially in this car it did look quite messy and it was hit kind of right here so it the, the weakest parts have broken unfortunately but it is what it is we'll find the bits for it and get it all bolted back together we had the same with a gla yeah it's the same bit really isn't it, it is the yeah. same bit and it is just brittle plastic isn't it yeah. let's move on So quite a lot achieved there by Chris in the background. I have been working away on the little Mitsubishi Colt we've had sat for quite a while. He's got this back where it needs to be, got all that straightened out. And you've got all of that pretty much where chassis it wants, cap. chassis cap, that's all back where it it's wants to be. Building, it's got a little tiny split in it, yeah, in that corner. that corner. So you're just gonna weld that up. Build that up the weld, yeah, and grind that back. And then, uh, that's just going to want a little puff of paint, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it, that's it. This is, even though this car's pearl, that is only but, base yeah, under there, isn't yeah, it? So yeah. we ain't got to worry about doing the uh, pearl on that. And the painter, he's, uh, he did say he's not looking forward to doing this. I've just noticed, Chris, don't know if you noticed that, wants a little repair on that wing as well. Has it? Oh, yeah. It's so pulled it over. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Right, let's get on with it. actually finished the little Mitsubishi video Chris is still hard working on the Merc we're going to have a look at that in a minute but little update on the last video the Passat this mirror cover had flown off so we had to order a new one get it painted and get it put on but a couple of things come to light actually guys that you wouldn't believe this car kept coming up with a fault saying keyless entry system not working and I was baffling my brains thinking what's going on so the door looms were completely different and see that little cut out there? These door handles. So if you've got the keys in your pocket, you can just grab the handle and it unlocks. This car that these doors come off obviously didn't have that. So I've had to strip them all down, change all the door looms. And there's a little patch lead that goes in here and connects that to that. And obviously makes it all sing and dance. So just thought I'd give you all a little bit of an update on that. Actually, while I was doing it, it's always worth adding it in. And of course you get to see it with the mirror cap finished as well. Just that short period of time there, Chris messing around, and you would have seen in that last little bit of time lapse, he finally took the, took the plunge and put the front panel on. What he did say, and that does make sense, it was so nice to get this crash bar with the extensions all bolted up in its original places. We was quietly confident that the chassis legs hadn't moved anyway, but it was really nice to be able to push that in and it went straight in there, no problem at all. You can see that bit under there that Chris has straightened up. We've got that bang back on the right angle and the bolts there bolted up right in the right place. Chris, you did, sorry mate, to disturb you. Yep. You did say there's loads of adjustment on this. Yeah, if a lot, yeah. a lot of adjustment. Yeah, so yeah. there's plenty to play with, plenty to move around. Yeah, I think the thing we've got to do is to get the We'll get the wing and the bumper on in a minute. You're working on the wing, yeah, on the bench as we... Just straightening the wing. Just straightening the wing we'll out. The wing and we'll get the bumper on. And because the bumper fits on the loads, I believe. Right. So we'll have an idea then, won't we? They've got, it's got a slot on them. 
So we've put the, we've put the bumper on and see how that marries up with the wings and then see what the wing gap is with but, the bonnet. But the way that just slotted in oh, there. I'm guessing it's going to be bang on. Yeah, and the bonnet hasn't moved, has it? Even though they've had those little digs. It well, has going on the gap this side. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's perfect, oh. isn't it? Can you really see the pearl in that when the light yeah. hit it then? Yeah. So just this wing to do, and we get that fitted up. Why Chris was messing around there, sticking that on, all these little bits and pieces. You actually found another one, Chris, didn't you? Yeah. So this little piece, resonator. resonator, has actually got a crack right through it as well. And this does actually connect to this. And this was in a box in the back, which we'd previously obviously removed. So I did go straight on eBay, and surprisingly, this was really cheap. And I bought... We thought we was going to have to buy that piece there, that piece there, and possibly this piece here because it's got a little dig in it at the top. But I managed to buy the whole complete thing and just bought one of those as well this morning. And I think that was about 10 quid delivered. And that one there, I can say the price, about £55 free postage for the whole thing. So we've got everything there that we're going to need. So hopefully that arrives quite quickly and we can get that all fitted back on. But... So far, so good. Chris got that wing on there. And you can see he's got a bit of damage out of it. Just before we do put the front bumper on, I wanted to show you guys something. This wing come off of a car of the same paint code. And this just shows you how difficult it's going to be to paint. Look at the difference. That's pearl white, that's pearl white, same paint code. But that is off of a different car. <laughs> you can't panel match these, can you? Definitely not. Shall we move on and get the bumper fitted? Yep. This is the moment of truth, Chris. Let's put this camera on. There's a little bit of damage on that bumper, but I don't think it's going to affect lining up. The little tiny crack on the bottom? Yeah. See them, Rob? Yeah. Oh, I've been pretty much there. That bit, yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good, man. We're just using nuts and bolts at the minute. It's a bit awkward to get in there. Yeah. You've got it, though. What's your, what's your own line up? Showing me I've got the med lights in it. You need to show them, innit? That's, That's it. it. I think it's holding there, isn't it? Yeah. Are you putting two in here or not? No, I'll leave it for a minute and we'll see what the. We've got to see how the bump lines up with that bonnet. Where that, where it meets here. Yeah. Is where they were both damaged. So I find it just knocked them into what looks the nearest shape. You ready? Yeah, it's fine. That does want to come forward attached to the bolt, yeah. but that's fine. Yeah. So, what's, what's that fit like on there? Perfect. Once that's pulled forward a little tiny bit. Yeah, it might be a little bit. You need to go down a bit that one, don't you? This 
That one was more damaged than this side. This side looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Let it get there. Look at that. Let's stand back. I mean, there's a lot more fixings to go in it, but that looks brilliant. Yeah. So that, that car definitely had no chassis damage, did it? Oh, no. It's Category S, this one, as well, I think. You can. So, guys, look. Obviously, this is this has got to rest up against the headlight, but that gap there is fine. Yeah. It needs a little bit of work here, doesn't it? And I but think that's a little bit too tight, so that possibly. Yeah, the bolt, you, the you, bolt hole. You can yeah. see. Look, just got to come forward but slightly. Also you've got adjustment. There's an elongated slot behind that bolt. Yeah. Which allows that panel to go up and down slightly. You did say there's a lot of play in it. Yeah, loads And you notice that because we had to fit this yeah. new one, didn't yeah, we? Sure. So it's just little bits, guys. There's so many little bits and pieces. The bonnet catch up there was broken. We have just found one on eBay, so we can buy one of them. But... Stick a couple of bolts in. Oh, you are going to stick a just couple in there. That, pull that down. It's got the better of him, guys, because you can see that bolt hole there. That just wants to come to there. So Chris is going to stick a couple of bolts in. Have a rerun. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah. I think that's still probably sitting a little bit high though, look. Yeah, don't forget the headlight goes in there. No, no, compared to that side, they should be sitting at the same point, shouldn't they? I think this is slightly higher this side. So it just wants bringing down. Yeah. But so far, so good. Really putting the hours in there, guys, both of us, as you can see outside, it's just started getting dark already. We've been at it all day, me on one, Chris on another. So the Mercedes, Chris, you're happy. Bog work, finished. Yeah. Everything's flattened off. Everything's ready to go with primer. Yeah. Yeah. That wing was, it, the damage didn't look that bad when I showed it earlier on, but that was quite a lot of panel work there for Chris on that wing. And it's actually aluminium, isn't it? I'm just going to go in there. That's aluminium, yeah. the wing, isn't it? Yeah. So a little tiny bit there, and obviously that repair there. And then a bit on the edge of that wing there. Chris has got that just about bang on. Yeah. And these, these little dark bits that you can see, just a, just a bit of stopper, and that's quite easy to flat off. You can pull the bonnet down. Stop it, mate. It is getting late in the day. Oh, bit of oil on them, sir. And really really nice that he managed to save that bonnet because we couldn't find one and the one we did find was really really expensive but the hardest part what's been the hardest part Chris that bonnet or this bumper Ooh, I don't know, really. a bit of the same so we got this bumper off of Eddie and they always come with a little bit of damage on them and it had a little split in it here so Chris repaired that plastic welded it and then, of course, it had quite a few stone chips around it as well. So one up here, one up here. And he's just gone around just to get it absolutely bang on. And believe it or not, all of this here is actually, you know, where it's gone over a curb and it's just got scratches on it. And I said to Chris, you'll never be able to see that down there. He went, yeah, but it's off the car. It wants doing really nicely. So that is all ready now. And we've got it in the paint booth. To actually paint it it's uh, sorry to put it in primer yeah so far so good really moving on with it so that's all the repairs primed now quite pleased with how they came out I have guide coated that up ready as well 
it's a case now of letting that harden up for a day or so before I can block it off. So in the meantime, fortunately, the new throttle body has arrived. Um, I think Rob mentioned previously in the video that this one was broken a couple of places. So I've got to swap the EGR assembly over onto that and that can be fitted to the car. Once that's fitted, there should be no reason why I can't fit the rad pack. Unfortunately, when it arrived, it has got a broken pipe on this small oil cooler, which I believe is a power steering oil cooler. So we've got a replacement there. I've just got to change that over. But before I do any of that, we've run out of logs for the log fire and it is a little bit chilly in here. So I'm gonna get the digger out, get the chainsaw out, and go and cut some timber up. Let's get on with that first. Well, hopefully that's enough logs to keep us going for the next couple of weeks and keep the workshop warm. I should have mentioned earlier, Rob is out uh, delivering a vehicle and once he's, picked that, once he's delivered that vehicle, he's got to then go and pick another vehicle up, another project. So he's not going to be around for probably 24 hours or so. So you guys are stuck with me. I will do my best to film the little bits I'm getting on with, which is going to be a start on these. Well, I'm back with a bit of an update, guys. I've actually been down at Birmingham dropping off the welfare unit and picking us up another purchase while I was there. Chris has cracked on with this, and he really, you wanted to get this all back together, wrap pack in there. Yesterday, it, yeah, yesterday yeah, yeah. get it all on the button so that it was done. But like I said earlier on in this video, when I did a bit of a cutting, you find extra stuff that's broken. So you would have seen that Chris has actually replaced all of the throttle body and he was getting ready, just piping it up, because all things like this need to be plumbed in before it goes on, yeah, because it's too hard to get yeah. to. And he's put just going around, on. he's put that on, checked all that, and then this one, was right at the last minute, we've noticed that that's all bent, and he don't want to take any risks yeah. straightening that up. And to We're, change that, if it did, once the car's all put back together. That's a pain. Oh. You've got to strip it all back out yeah. again. So, Plus aircon, gas, etc. Yeah. So we have just found one of them on eBay and it was only 10 quid. So we have ordered it, but we are just going to have to wait now until it comes in yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? and leave this be. It is a shame because we was that close, but it's the same with anything, isn't it? 
Yeah. We know that we've got a couple of broken wires there that we've got to attend to at a later date. But they're all, you can get to all them. I mean, guys, you can see where that pipe goes. It goes round here and then comes out here. And trying to get that in there after the effect. Plus, as well, it won't run properly because that's one of the main intercooler pipes. Guys, Chris is absolutely gutted there, to be honest. He wanted that car ready to go to the paint shop. Paint shop ready. Yeah. He wanted to nail it in this video. I went on a bit of a journey and I said, what's the plan? And he said, I'm going to get that car back all watered up all anti-freezed oil i'm gonna do the whole lot get it back on its wheels all running and driving so that it's ready for that paint shop and it's all these little things and in our game this yeah, is right. this is not every now and then this is all the time but that's why you, we have loads of projects on the go each time because drop back on something else you do don't you you always find a little something and yes you could have thrown that car together now but then you've got to pull it all back apart. It's just a headache. And that is, honestly, the way it goes round sometimes. So at least he got it this far. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, you're giving Chris a massive thumbs up because he's done this one start to finish on his own. And I've been in and out, in and out. That new pipe, I've already ordered it before we've done this outro. It's already been dispatched and it's already out for postage. So it's on its way. It's only going to be a matter of time. We are still looking for a couple of headlights for that car. Um, we've searched through eBay, searched through other websites. We've spoke to um, Silver Lake, various other companies. No one's really got those Xenon headlights available for that at the moment. But we're not in a major no, rush. We don't it, need them till it comes back. From it paint. can go to paint like that. We're not going to desperately like try and buy, go and buy the headlights because they're too expensive. We just wait until a couple come up that are reasonably priced so that is the end of today's video but just before we do go we do want to mention for any purchases from the merch store in december there is 10 percent off of everything in the merch store so that is anything check out during any, december anything that you buy during december from the merch store you get 10 percent discount on that and there's no limit it's whatever you do buy so that is going to be the end of today's video as usual we do hope that you did enjoy it Drop your comments in the comment section down below. You'll be answering a few comments in this video. Yes, yes. Chris done it and he does like when he does a video. It is nice for him to answer a few questions. So we'll probably take a, a bit of turns. Yep. Chris will do the first, what the first? Evening. You want to do whatever, the evening? Whatever evening it goes out. Yes. I'll do that evening, shall I? Yeah, so Chris will be in the comment section when this video goes out. So if you've got any questions or anything for him in there, then you can ask him. So that is going to be the end of today's video, guys. Don't forget, please like, subscribe and share. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. And follow us on Instagram for the little sneak peeks at Selvage Rebuilds. Guys, don't forget, if you do reach out on Instagram, always include your mobile number.